Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be trying something new. I am doing calligraphy for the first time and this was my biggest painting ever. So I hope you watch till the end of the video and enjoy the process. So I didn't film the starting of the project where I painted and primed my canvas and then wrote the calligraphy on a separate piece of paper then traced it on the canvas so that there's lesser mistakes and it looks nice. But I filmed the painting part and the finishing touches so I hope you'll enjoy the process and I hope you like how it turns out in the end. Although I did have some specific colors I wanted to use, I was kind of deciding the colors as I was going, you know, forward and I had my mom helping me out a lot, so shout out to her. I just knew that I was going to use brighter color palettes that were more towards, you know, reddish or yellows, and, but I also ended up incorporating some green and blues. My mom wanted me to do calligraphy for quite a quite some time now and I thought that it was finally time I should fulfill her wish and so I decided to do this project finally in my summer vacations. It was so satisfying painting with this flat brush that I actually got from a hardware store instead of a stationery shop and you know just a tip or future reference Paints at or paint brushes at hardware stores are way more cheaper than at stationery shops. But yeah, do check out your hardware stores if you want some spray paints and cheap paint brushes that actually work really nice. Once I was done with painting the letters, I started painting the golden parts. I don't know what these exactly are called, but yeah. I noticed that the golden paint for Mari's is actually really good and this is not sponsored in any way, but I really enjoyed painting the golden parts as well. Next, I wanted to paint the background, so I used some black paint and started filling in the gaps between the letters. You can just see how satisfying it is when the flat brush, you know, paints the corners and the tiny gaps between the letters. Also, I noticed we hit 115 subscribers in such a less time. I am so happy and I welcome the new subscribers with all my heart and I hope you continue supporting me and the family keeps growing. And so if you want to join the family, just hit the subscribe button and like the video. And if you want others to join the family too, just share the video. I just know that the time lapses of this video are going to be really enjoyable because it's really fun seeing a lot of area get covered in such a short amount of time. This project took me four days to complete. Yes, I was really, really surprised that it took me so long. You guys know I want to get done with my paintings as soon as possible because I want to see the end result. But I was taking my time painting this and even my mother wanted me to, you know, take it slow so I don't rush it and I give it proper time. So yeah, it ended up taking four days and also because it was really huge. Like the canvas was I think 20 by 30 inches.
This was one of my favorite parts where I sprinkled some paint and used the toothbrush and just splashed it around. It gave a really nice abstract effect. Then we moved on to painting this design. Um, I just used Pinterest for this. I didn't draw it originally. Although I did make a few changes because I wanted the bottom design to be a little larger. It's just really satisfying how the golden shines on the black background. And with this we're done guys. It's such a beautiful painting, mashallah. I loved it and I enjoyed it and it was a challenge for me because I've never done calligraphy before. So I faced it head on and I think I'm really really proud of the results. It looks beautiful, my family loved it and I hope you guys loved it too. This is how it looks hanging in our gallery. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. That's the end. I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.